Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LeDuc from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants, here with you on the fourth Thursday of the month, taking over from Michelle Davis on the Geeks Are Sexy show. We've got three wonderful guests and a panel discussion for you today. We're going to jump right into that. But before I talk to our first guest, Ari, I want to talk about our sponsor, 5AM Global. They do a lot of great different stuff. You may know them as a marketing and PR company, but something that they're really great at is event production. So if you are having an event or you need some help putting together an event because you feel like you need to do an event, connect with Sean Willis and our team at 5AM Global. They'll help you line up your speakers. They'll help you do your marketing. They'll help you get your word out about your event. But connect with 5AM Global if you're doing an event and need some help with your event production. Now that we're through the formalities, our first guest is Ari Handley. She's originally from Kansas and a graduate of the University of Kansas. What's interesting about her, because this is a business show about Las Vegas, so already on two counts here, you didn't make the cut. <laughs> She actually has a degree in Spanish language and literature, and I want to learn a little bit more about that when we get to that part of the show. But you're here in Las Vegas now doing business development for a company called Now CFO. Correct. Did I get that right? Because I've been doing it backwards yeah. all week in, <laughs> no. uh, in my world. So It is A-OK, -okay, yeah, it's Now so, CFO. So, well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Tell us all about Now CFO and how you ended up here in Las Vegas working for them. Yeah, so now CFO started out in 2005 in Salt Lake City, and it is a outsourced operational accounting firm. Mm -hmm. So we help small to large businesses with anything from bookkeeping all the way to CFO strategizing on an hourly basis with no contracts, mm -hmm. which is something that's very different. We're really just helping out the businesses because they don't have the budget to actually hire a you know, full-time bookkeeper or full-time CFO mm -hmm. or controller. And we just want to make sure that they have that help still um, while they're growing their business. Yeah, I think that's I think that's really important because the traditional way of doing things is put our firm on retainer and we'll handle all your stuff for you, whether that takes us two hours a month to do your stuff because it's really simple or whether that takes us 500, you know, 500, a team of doing 500 hours a month. And so what you guys have done is created something really scalable for someone who may be a solopreneur or someone who's got a, a pretty complicated, small to medium-sized business with lots of moving pieces. Correct. And one of your core principles at Now CFO, and I loved this when we sat down and had coffee a couple weeks ago, but also as I was reviewing the literature and the website about Now CFO, is that financial visibility equals smarter business decisions. Yes. And how how do you one how do you help with the financial visibility? Mm -hmm. But how does that help your clients, the business owners you help? How does that help them make smarter decisions? Yeah, so a lot of the clients that we help, you know, we go in there, we ask them about, you know, simple questions like, how much revenue are you making? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't even know how much revenue they're making, which is scary because, you know, if you don't know how much money is coming in, then you don't really know how much money you're able to spend um, to keep growing your business. So how we bring that visibility mm -hmm. is making sure first that their bookkeeping is done correctly, so okay. their everyday accounting is done correctly, okay. as well as bringing them uh, cash flow. Forecast, forecast, forecast. Uh, That's right. Slow down. So, um, so that they can actually just look at it every day on a dashboard as well. Okay. Um, and as well as that, we make sure that they're using the right accounting systems. Because that's another thing that we see is that we go into a business, we ask them, okay, well, where's this? And they go, well, it's okay. in this accounting. But then we keep this other thing over here and we're pulling our information from this Excel sheet and then we mix it all up and we're like, you know, there's one system that can do everything and then you can actually have more visibility over your financials without having to look at so many different places and make sure that you're looking at all those right. different and, places. And it's, there is one system and it's not your online banking no. bank account statement. Or Excel. Uh, or ex <laughs> Excel Excel's a great product, but it, it doesn't do that. You know, yes. you, you got to know what you're doing to use Excel. But yes. I run into that with clients in my business all the time where they don't know their numbers. And, and yes. we talk about how important it is to know your numbers in business. They don't know their numbers. The, the only number they know is their bank balance at the end of every day when they look. Yes. And, and that's a number that's good to know, but it doesn't tell you the whole story about your business. And I love the focus you guys have on revenue and yes. starting with... Let's let's understand your bookkeeping. Let's understand what's coming in and what's going out. Yeah. The gazintas and gazadas, as we would have said in flight testing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, and then figure out what comes next. Yeah. So, so one of the biggest things that we do also is bring them a 13 week okay. like forecasting, because in 13 weeks a lot can happen. But 
sometimes we see, hey, in 13 weeks, you're actually going to be out of cash. Did you know that? And we bring this up to them because one of the scariest things as an owner of a business mm -hmm. is not being able to pay your yourself as well as your employees. So we try to make sure that we bring those things up to them mm -hmm. so that 13 weeks before that happens, they can start making sure that they fix that before it is actually a problem for them okay. as well. And, and so what are some of the services you offer that help them do that, help them make those decisions, help them look at the, look at the future? Yeah, so we have a controller and then CFO level. So a controller is going to give you those dashboards so that you can actually have that information in front of you. And they'll explain it to you because we know a lot of people go into business and they don't have that financial background. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that they actually know how to read those statements as well because hey, if we're not the ones helping you that day, we still want you to be knowledgeable. So we let them know how to read those statements, and then also they get to talk to a person that has about 10 to 15 years at least in experience of being a CFO at another large company, and mm -hmm. they get to talk to them, and they get to you know, put together what their goals are. So we like to ask, where do you see this company going? Where do you want it to be going? And then we put a plan together with them to make sure that they're hitting those goals. I think that's great too, because a lot of business owners aren't thinking about their exit down the road or being bought by another company or doing or doing an IPO. They just have something that they're good at and they want to share that with the world and they want to make some money doing that. That's where a lot of business owners are, but you're helping them, you're giving them that advice of, what do you want to do with this someday? Because there's different paths to that, and you guys can help them do that. All right, so let's get let's get to it. How does having a degree in Spanish and Spanish language help you with what you're doing? Uh, you, you've had a, a wide, varied career of doing business, but that's a lot of what you've done. Yes. How does that help you with business and help you with with the bringing in business for CFO and for now CFO? Yeah, definitely. So I am. Spanish was my first language. Mm -hmm. I spoke it since I was a baby, and I didn't know how to read or write it. So that was a really big challenge for me. And I knew I wanted to be in the business world, but I couldn't put that on my do on my resume. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know how to read or write. So I, that's why I made that my degree. But then I've worked in many companies where they weren't really focusing on you know the demographic that only spoke Spanish mm -hmm. and only felt comfortable also speaking Spanish. So. You know, there's a lot of people who live here in Vegas who know how to speak English, but when they're talking about technical stuff like their finances and things like that, they're more comfortable talking in Spanish. And that's where I bring in, okay. you know, the help to bring in um, clients and helping them out because I want them to know that there is someone out there that is able to help them in their most comfortable mm -hmm. language, which is Spanish sometimes. Which is great, especially here in the Southwest. I mean, I think that's something that's happening all over the country. But here in the Southwest, we have a lot of, we have a lot of people who their first language, uh, even, even though they might speak English really well, their first language is Spanish. Yes. Uh, so that's great. So, all right. So now CFO, who are you looking to connect with? How can we help you? Yeah, definitely. So I'm really wanting to connect with, you know, people who are wanting to build a business for themselves because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people have that passion and they want to help people mm -hmm. with that so they build that business. I want to help them build a great business that's financially stable and that is has a plan to grow and keep growing. Mm -hmm. um, as well as you know those medium businesses also that are hitting that plateau um, that they keep making the same revenue over and over mm -hmm. again and they're looking to see how they can make more. So we love to strategize with them and see how we can help them get off that plateau so that they can, you know, expand their business and grow it, um, maybe by expanding it to another location or just growing it in that one location, but maybe adding some more products to it. Okay, great. Financial information to help make smart decisions, yes. right? <laughs> right. So if you're looking for some help with your finances or you're looking to grow, maybe you've hit that plateau or you, you want to grow and you want to do it sustainably. Because that's what yes. I heard in that is it's not just growth for growth's sake. Mm -hmm. It's growth sustainably for a successful business 5, 10, 20 years down the road. Yes. Connect up with Ari. How can our viewers connect with you? Um, either by calling me through my cell phone, which I, mean, I can give it here. It's 702-960-6212. And that's my direct line for my cell phone for now okay. CFO. Or through my email address, which is a handley at nowcfo.com. And we'll get all that up on the show notes for you and on the website so you guys don't have to remember that. So thank you for being here. Oh, We're going to have you. Ari back in uh, about half an hour for our panel discussion. And... Uh, we're going to bring Jess Horan in in just a second. So stick with us. Jess Horan from Original Cocktail Club is going to be here. I'm Jason LaDuke. This is Geeks Are Sexy. Stay right here. 